Hey folks, Luke Reaper here and welcome to a new episode of Luke Reaper Collection here on Weepers. Today we are going to take a look at an Italian special edition for a horror cult classic and one of the most important movies ever made. That is The Midnight Factories, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th Anniversary Gold Edition. Very long name to say out loud. Midnight Factory is Plyon's label for horror content distribution. And talk to me for k book was theirs as well. Top Offers movie needs no presentation, so I'd say to go straight to the table and take a look at it. So here it is, and let me kick off this thing by saying that the one thing I don't like about Plyum in Night Factory releases, at least those who were directly handled by them, is the packaging. Not that this art is all bad, I really love this leather face artwork, the dented logo with the golden accent here, the overall gold vibe at the dented edition details down here. The issue is the mediocre Photoshop work for the titling and generally speaking the whole layout is clearly Photoshop. Granted, most home video packaging is done through Photoshop, but here is blatantly obvious. The titles, the shadows. Not much effort has been done in that regard. Turning it around, and again we have the golden top, which is a little ruined here, thanks Amazon, with the edition's details dented. Below we have info about the movie and the edition, including specifying this basically is the MPI edition repackaged. There might be some difference in content. Below we have all the extra listed in the same Arrow video and Criterion style. I think Plyon should aim for this more often, and for Italy and Germany they should look into partnering with both of those labels, also Kino Lorber. Anyways, I leave the MPI extra list, which should be roughly the same. In terms of audio, which are the same on both 4K and standard Blu-ray, we have the original Italian dubbing in English, both in Dolby Atmos, the original Italian dubbing in DTS 1.0, and the Italian redub in both 7.1 and 2.0 DTS. Subtitles are only in Italian. The 4K disc is presented in Dolby Vision. Well, without further ado, let's look inside. Here's the MRA, the artwork is different from the slipcases one, and it's one used for other editions of the movie internationally. We see Leatherface in the iconic scene, very stylized and all in a golden accent. We have the Italian title and the Midnight Gold logo. Turning it around, and we have the dead armadillo and the van, and all stylized and in a golden accent. Now we open it. We have the three discs, the 4K, which wrongly sports the Region B logo despite all 4Ks must be region free, and the two standard Blu-ray for film and extras. Worth noting, the MPI edition only contains the movie on 4K and extras on Blu-ray. Inside we also find a booklet with stills from the movie and a quite lengthy essay, or at least I think this is an essay, from Mario Gomalaska and Davide Pulici from Nocturno Cinema. Nocturno being a rather popular cinema portal for cinephiles here in Italy. Really well done overall. We also got a collector's sports card and a Midnight Factory Flyer. That. Which explains what the label's goal in turn which explains what the labels call are in terms of values and the integrity of the catalog in both quality and authenticity. Behind also becomes an advertisement for Fun Factory and the Midnight Factory channel on Prime Video and Mediaset Infinity, the latter being a local only streaming service. Okay, let's put everything back. Before closing it, the cover is reversible. We see a quite indicative steal from the movie. Nice, now let's close for real. And here it is, the Midnight Factories, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th Anniversary Gold Edition. Again, quite a mouthful. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the most important movies ever made and needs no further explanation as to why I have it in my collection. I haven't watched the 4K disc yet and I'm really curious since it was shot mainly on 16mm and of most of all it's supposed to be an ugly looking movie. Hence, I'm not expecting a pristine picture. Finally, the only downside of this edition is the lack of the original DTS 1.0 or DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 English tracks, to give all the options even for its original dub. Though I heard the Atmos mix is supposed to be really good. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Are you going to pick this edition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre up, or are you going to go for a 4K English edition? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and follow us on all of our social media. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X, TikTok and Twitch. My name is Luca Ripa. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday.